Yeah, welcome back to this very channel and for today I'll be talking about the analytical description of a periodic function. Please, if you, if you have not hit the subscribe button, do that right now. The um, button will be showing at this very part. So you have to what, click the subscribe button and share this very video. So right now, we're going to describe each of these functions. So the first thing I want us to know is the period. Is the period. Now look at this guy. If you come up to this very part, the first thing you'll be asking yourself is what is the period so that you know the part you will need to analyze because each periodic function should have a period. Now, when this period is being determined, you can pick one part of the function to analyze because every other part will be the same. That's a period. It repeats itself. So you just need only one part to analyze the function. So um, I can conclude that in this very function 6 will become the period simply because if you look at this carefully this is where this very function started from at 3 and if you will notice i have it also here at this very part repeating itself so it means that if i compare these two guys together i'll be having this black side then this is also another side again so you see that it's just the same thing like this like this so it's just still what the same so I can only analyze from here to this very part, from here to here. So look at this, what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do. I will start from this very guy, from here to here. Since the line remained straight, from here to here, the line remained like this. So let us analyze this very first place. What would you notice at this very part? What would you notice at this very part? Now, what are the values of x here? Values of x at this very part is from 0 to what? 4. So I can say that um, at x equal 0 to 4, so s equal to 4, what is the value of um, y? y is equal to what? 3. y is equal to 3. So somebody else can say that f of s is equal to what? 3. And then the um, equality would then become, or inequality, 0 less than x less than 4. So for this very part, f of s will be giving us what? 3. So this is what we have. These are the range of values at which f of s is equal to what? 3. Now let us go to the next one. If you look at this, I have another line here. This very guy here. Before we then go to the 6. Before we get to the 6, there's another line at this very part. So what line is this? The first now ask myself is, what values of x do this guy appear? 4 to what? 6. So I will say at s equal to 4 to s equal to 6 what is the value for y at this very portion 0 value for y at this very portion is what 0 so this is y equal to 0 which means f of s is equal to 0 so i can say that this happened at 4 less than x less than what 6 so somebody can conclude that this very function you see here is f bracket s plus 6 equal f of what x because it ended at what 6 so you can say f of s plus 6 which is the period is equal to what f of s so for every particular guy that you are always adding 6 to it the function will start repeating itself so that's the period so we have analyzed this very guy these are actually very easy to analyze because the lines are horizontal so they are much more easier to analyze now, this very guy here, the lines are no longer horizontal. So how do we do this? It's still very simple. Now look at this. Let me start from this very guy. If you look at this very graph, the first line you can see here is from here to here, right? So how do I then kind of know the period? I will have to go and find something else, a particular portion of this graph that also starts from this very part like this. It's going up, going up. So if I will look at carefully i will see that oh i have it at this very side again from this place i'm still going above so this is this guy is going this way so i have it here again where do i have it also i have it at this very part so it means that if i can analyze from here this very part a to this very part b if i can analyze it it means i've gotten my what description the description that i need so what can i say here this is six right yeah that's six so that is, that's going to become the period. That's going to be the what? Period. Because from that very part, I had it again starting the same way it started at the original um, origin, this very 
zero. So I'm going to analyze from here to here. So how many parts do I have there? I have two parts. I have from here to this very part, and I have from here to this very part. So look at this. Let me call this very, this is O. Let me call this guy, um, okay, A, B, C. Let me call it like that, A, B, C. So I have three guys. Now, A to B, this would be difficult for me to kind of just say the answer very straight. Though there's a method I would have used. But you would agree with me that I would have to find the equation of this very word, line. Because it's no longer horizontal the way the previous one is. So, how do we then find the equation of a line? Now, remember this very formula. You used it. Y take away Y1 over S take away X1. It's called a gradient. Or you can say Y2 take away Y1 over S2 take away what? X1. So, that formula stands. Though, I would not want to use this formula here. Simply because line A to B is very beautiful. Look at it. What is the value of Y at B2? Value of S at b2 remember this is your s as is so value of x here 2 value of y 2 it means value of x and y are the same do you get what i'm trying to say so somebody can come here and say at s equal to 0 to s equal to 2 to s equal to 2 somebody can say that f of s is equal to what okay let me just put y is equal to f of x sorry for that let me just put y is equal to x. y is equal to x. Yes. Because the values are the same. No need for me to come and start using this very formula. Do let me use it for um, illustration's sake. Let me use it. Now, this is y minus y1. Now, remember we have two points here. Point A and point what? B. What will be the value of point A? This will be 0, comma what? 0. Because... This very line here started at s equal to 0 and y equal to 0, which is the origin. So that's 0, 0. Then what about b? b is what? 2, 2. Because I have this very guy here, 2 for x, and I have 2 for y. So that's 2, 2. So I can say this is x1, y1, s2, y2. So I can do that. Okay, so let me come back to this very guy. Let me come back to this very guy. So this is um, y minus y1, 0, over x minus x1, 0. y2 is what? 2 minus y1, 0. s2 is 2 minus x1, 0. So this is y over x equal 2 over 2. So this is y over s equal what's 2 over 2? 1. So somebody can just say 1 over 1. Then cross multiply. This will become y times 1 is y equal x times 1 is x. So that's why we have y equal to what? x at this very part. So that's kind of simple. So um, you can also rewrite it as f of s equal to what? x. You can also rewrite it like that. So it's still the same thing. You can also do that. Okay. Now, at what part did this happen? This happened at 0 less than x less than what? 2. That was where this happened. Now the next guy is... um b to c b to what c b to c this six actually okay so b to c how do we then solve it it's still i still have to find the equation of that very line remember there are other ways to do it but let us do it the longer um way the longer method so let us look at that now to get the equation of a line i need at least two points so right now i have to come to this very part i already know what b is now my c will then become the problem so what would then become the point at C? First of all, what's the value of x here? Value of x here is what? 6. So this is 6, comma. Value of where is this guy? Value of y at this very part is what? 0. Because this is directly at this very what? As this. At the x as this, y will be what? 0. So this is 6, comma, 0. I believe we got that. So I'll come back to this very part. I will say y minus um, I can call any of them my x1 or y1. So let me just call this one x1, y1. So x1 is, um, where's that guy? 6. Okay, sorry. I'm supposed to be picking y1. y1 here is 0. Divided by x minus x1 is 6. Then this will be equal to y2. I'll be using this very guy. y2. So that's 2. 
minus y1 0 over x2 2 minus x so this is y over s take away 6 equal i have 2 left over 2 take away 6 is negative what 4 not minus 4 so this will then become y divided by x minus 6 equal 1 over what minus 2 because um 2 can go here 2 can go to this very part so i can cross multiply here I can, cross I can see that y, look at this, see what I'm going to do here. See what I'm going to do. Just be very careful. y is equal, this x minus 6 can come to this very part. I believe you agree with that. This x minus 6 can come to this very part. So I can say y is equal x minus 6 times 1 is s minus 6 divided by what? Minus 2. I can do this. Then this is y equal. Can I separate this? Can I say this is x over minus 2? Then minus minus will give me plus 6 over 2. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. So y would then become minus x over 2 plus what? 3. So this would then become the equation of that very line. So I can come to this very part and I'll say at s equal. Where did this happen? This particular guy, where did it happen? This happened from, look at this carefully, please. This happened at 2 at s equal 2 and s equal what 6 that was where this happened so at s equal to 2 and s equal to 6 what am i having i'm having what y if x over 2 plus 3 so that means i can rewrite this as f of s is equal 3 minus x over 2 it's still the same thing i can say this is 3 then take away x over 2 so where did this happen? The range of values 2 less than x less than what? 6. That was where that happened. So right now, how do I put it in terms of something like this? Still the same thing. Because the period is what? 6. The period is what? 6. So this will become f of s plus 6 equal to f of what? x. So this is what I have. So I can do that. I can do it. Now, question 3. Um... It's very simple, simply because we don't have, um, what's it called? We don't have slant lines, we have just horizontal lines. So solving this very one will be very easy. So I will be leaving it, is the reason why I'm leaving it. I will solve it last. So let me come to this very part. Let me come to this very number four. I'll be solving it, but it will be the last guy. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it across to all your classmates. Okay, this very guy, yes. Now, you have to first of all determine where the period is. The period of this very guy, though this graph is looking somehow. Mm, yes, it's looking somehow. If you look at this, this is zero, right? We have zero at this very part. So since zero is here, and this is where the function started from, please, these broken lines, I think, let me even complete the broken lines. It's just kind of showing that four is the same across this very line. That is what is just showing that four is across, is the same across that very line. Okay. So right about now, what am I going to do here? This is where it started from. This is the origin from this very zero. I have to find somewhere else that this very function has zero and it started from that very part. Now, if I have this very guy like this, this very direction, if I think properly, I have it also at this very part, this very what? Direction. So I can conclude that I can get the period by knowing the value at this very point because it started from this very part where y is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0. So the next thing I have to think of is, at this very part, what will be the value here? That's quite simple. See, this 8 is in between this point and this point. 8 is in between the both of them. So what does that mean? That means this part will become 7. This part will become what? 9. That's the meaning. This part will become 7. This part will become what? 9. So this very 9 will become the period of this very function. This would be the period because at nine it started again, it started again. So what would be the value of this very guy? The first thing I have to think of is let me break it into parts. I have from here to here, so let me call this a. Let me call here b. Then I have from here to here, so let me call this b c. From here to here b c. Now from this very b c, I have another place again. If you would notice, from here to here is also another point. From here to here, before you get to nine. Before you get to 9, is another point. So I can call this, um, let me just say this is DC. I just like using another letter in, sorry, DE. Let me call it DE. 
Okay, so that's what I have. So how do I then represent this very guy analytically? Let us start from AB. What do you think will be the equation of the line for AB? Look at it carefully. At B, Y is 4, S is 4. At A, Y is 0, S is 0. They have the same values. At A, 0 and 0. At B, 4 and 4. That will simply tell me that at, sorry, at S, at S equal to 0 to S equal to 4, that I can be having my Y equal to what? S. Because the values are the same. At this very 0, it was 0 and 0. At this very B, Y was 4, S was 4. So the values are the same. So somebody can say that F of S is equal to what? X. And where did this happen? This happened at what? It happened at 0 less than X, less than what? 4. At 0 less than X and less than what? 4. Okay. For this very other one, because we've treated A, B, we've treated A, B. Now, can I treat B, C? Yes. And B, C is actually very sweet. Look at it. B, C. What values of X did that occur for B, C? 4 to what? 7. So, I can say at S equal 4. So, S equal to 7. What happened within that very range? What was the value of Y here? 4. The value of Y was what? 4. So, all of these guys are very simple. I can just say, I can just say that here, Y was equal to what? 4. Because at 4 and 7, the value of Y remained constant and was what? 4. So, I can conclude that F of S is equal to what? 4. And where did this happen? This happened at 4 less than x less than what seven so that's what i have at that very part the last guy hmm, this last guy de the last guy de so where would de then become if you look at this carefully de for d to e um seven to nine are the values for x the values for x so i can say at s equal to um seven to s equal to nine what was the value of y from that very point or at this very position what's the value of y at this very position zero the value of y is called a zero at that very position so and where did this happen somebody can say that f of s is equal to zero so where did this happen seven less than x less than what nine so i can say that f of s plus nine is equal to what f of what s because nine is the period of the function so f of s plus 9 is equal to what? It's always the function itself. Because at every time it approaches this very line, which is the period, the function starts again. Question 5. Hmm. That very question looks much more tedious. But it's very simple. So I can wipe this part now. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and like this very video. Now, I also noticed you can drop comments, please. You can actually drop comments for me. You can at least, you know, give me some words of encouragement. <laughs> okay. Now, let us analyze this very graph. Um, for this very, um, I said graph, okay, for this very function, it's still very easy. The first thing I have to note is where exactly did my function repeat itself so that I can pick out a portion of it and analyze it. Now, if I think properly, this is zero. This is where I started from. It's going this very way. I have this very guy from zero. I have to go and find somewhere else that appears the same way. Also, this very part is doing the same thing. Yes. So it means I can conclude that 13 is my period. That's the meaning. Sorry, let me put X here. It means I can conclude that 13 is the what? Is the period. And that's simple. That's very, very easy. 13 is the period. Now, how many parts do I have before I get to that very 13? I can call this A, call this B, Call this guy C, then call this guy D. Mm, yes, I can do it like that. So A, B, C, D. So I will then start analyzing. I'll start analyzing A to B, B to C, and C to D. So that is what I'm going to analyze at this very point. Now, A to B is a slant line. So it has a gradient. So I can use that. I can use this very guy. So what would then become A to what? B. Hmm. Okay, now look at this. Remember I said something. What is the value of x at this very part? x and y. This is 0, 0. 
and this very part 0 comma 0 now what about value for b here this will become 4 comma what 3 you know you can easily find gradients by using the formula rise over run so that is formula for gradients but i don't want to do that yet now look at this value for x here because we're used to this very method value for x here is 4 so i'll write 4 comma value of y is what 3 so right now let me write the formula for the equation of a line y take away y1 divided by s take away x1 is equal y2 take away y1 over um, s2 take away x1 so this y take away this very guy 0 then s take away this very guy 0 because x1 y1 are both zeros then y2 i can call this one x2 y2 what is y2 y2 is 3 minus 0 over what is x2 s2 is 4 you put minus 0 so this is y over x because when you take away 0 it's still the same thing then this will become 3 over what 4 you can rewrite this as y equal 3s over 4 simply take this very s to this very side so then we have y equal 3s divided by what 4 so this is what we have now i can see i can see let me analyze that this very part i can see that by looking at the result y is equal 3s over 4 where did this happen this happened at where's this guy 0 towards 4 look at it look at this this happened at 0 towards 4 0 to 4 so this is 0 less than x less than what 4 so what happened here f of s is equal 3s all over 4 these two things are the same they are both the same so this is the first part the next guy here the next guy here is b to c b to c this is a straight line b towards c now what do we do here it's still the same thing it's very simple so since i already have a point for b let me get a point for c what will c become you know you have to first find what's the value of x value for x at this very point is what 10 and what's the value for y at that very point minus 3 negative 3 negative 3 so that's what i have at that very point so let us find the equation using that very guy let us find the equation of the line using that very guy so i can call this one x1 y1 so this is y um plus 3 why is it y plus 3 remember that your y1 is equal to what minus 3 y1 is minus so if the minus comes to meet this minus we're going to get a plus then divided by s take away x1 is what 10 x1 is 10 equal to y2 where is it y2 is 3 then you see plus 3 divided by x2 is 4 then you see 4 minus 10 so this is, all, this is what i have so this is y plus 3 divided by s take away 10 equal um 3 plus 3 is 6 right so this guy is 6 over 4 take away 10 is what minus 6 right so what will be the answer for this very guy this will become minus one so this is minus one over one you can just do it like that because six will cancel six so that's minus one over one can i cross multiply here yes i can say this with times this this with times this so y plus three times one will still give me y plus three then minus one times s will give me minus x minus one times minus 10 will give me plus what 10. so all this then become y equal since this guy is 10 since this is 10 can this plus 3 come over it becomes minus right so 10 minus 3 will give us what 7 and what is left here minus x so i can say i can say i can say that um y is equal 7 take away x and where did this very guy happen this happened at look at this see what i'm going to do now what values of x did this thing happen it happened from remember we said from bc right so what was the value of s at b 4 what was the value of s at c 10 you can get it here 4 and what 10 that is the values so this will become 4 less than x less than what 10 so you can also say if you don't want to write it as y equals 7 take away s you can say f of s is equal 7 take away x you can write it this way now do i have a last guy remaining yes i have one last man standing c to d and if you notice at c to d the value for y remained constant 
at c value for y is minus 3 at d value for y is still minus 3 so i can say that y is equal to minus 3 and where did this very thing happen 10 towards 13 because c here s will become 10 at d s is 13 so this happened at 10 less than x less than what 13 so that was where this very thing happened so i can say that f of s is equal to what minus 3 at that sorry yes for minus 3 so that's what i have at that very point so somebody can conclude that f of s plus 13 is equal to what f of s because 13 is the period of that very function now please take note can i write this thing in a particular way all of these things that we've gotten there's a particular way of writing them let me wipe this part off let me wipe this part off remember you can always pause the video and watch it now let me write this very function the way it should be i can say f of s is equal something like this the first answer i got was 3s over 4 comma i'll put the range of values for that 0 less than s less than 4 the next value was 7 minus x so i'll say 7 minus x and where did that occur 10 less than s less than 13 the next and the last one is minus 3 and where did that happen it happened at 10 less than x less than sorry this very one is 4 okay this is 4 um 4 to 10 and this is 10 towards 13 so you can write it like this now this will be the last question okay there was a reason why i actually skipped it before but it's still very simple now what do i do here what do we do first of all i would love to identify where the period is going to be yes let us identify where the period is going to be instead of that minus one instead of that minus one and instead of that this very point this very point here so i'm going to find somewhere else instead of at this very point and looking at this this is this this is the part this is the part that started from the same portion the same way this very one started but can i conclude that this is where the period can be located can be located no i can't do that now before we proceed do you agree that this part will become five for a start this part will become five then this part will become nine yes because if this is four and six they gave a space this will become five this is eight and ten they gave a space this will become nine even though it's not drawn to scale but at least that should be a nine now look at this look carefully when this very function value started the difference at the x axis was 0 to 2 they were two units apart two units apart now if you say this is the period if you say this very part is the period that is 5 if you say 5 is the period tackle it from 5 to this very next guy 5 to 9 that's four units apart which is not the same with the way this very guy is it is not the same with the way this very guy is because the distance from where it started from to the next let me call this a spike it went up so this very part is just zero to two so it means if i want to find the period i have to make sure that oh this distance remains the same here and how can i do that look at this this is eight to nine right one unit now is there a guy here at the middle seven this guy here is seven right seven to nine is two units seven to nine will become two units so right now this part is not going to become my where my period can be gotten my period is going to be gotten from this very part here because this very side this very guy okay i'm not doing it straight i think i have to stand perpendicular to that very line so this very part aha uh -huh, this very part is where this line and this very part would then be similar because if from here let me call this a b if distance from a to b is two units here i have to also make sure that distance from a to b here will still be two units seven to nine is two units so this is what was kind of fishy with this very function this is what is fishy with it so this very guy a to b is what you needed to understand about it so right now where would you then say the period is is the period at five or at seven the period is at seven remember i've said why it is at seven because you want to start where the particular function started from and make sure it maintains the same distance 
So let us now solve. This is 7. What does that tell me? I'm going to analyze A to B. Though this line is also B, but let me call it, let me give it another name. So that it will be better C to D. Then here, let me call this, this is also D, but let me give it another alphabet, E to F. So these are what I'm going to be analyzing. I'm going to analyze A to B, C to D, then E to F. Okay, so right about now, how do we then do this? So let us start. At A to B, at A to B, what is the value for f of x minus 1? A to B, value for f of x is what? Minus 1. Or you can say that y is equal to minus 1. This is the y as x. So, or you can say the f of x as is still the same thing. So the y as is minus 1. And where did this very guy happen? This guy happened at 0 to what? 2. At 0 less than x less than what? 2. Because that was the value of x where y was what? Minus 1. Remember, you can also say that f of s is equal to what? Minus 1. Okay. The next thing you then do is to continue. You then proceed. This c to d, c to d, what is the value here? 3. So y is equal to 3 at c. Sorry, I said at c. Okay. Y is equal to 3. What were the values of x that this very thing occurred? 2 to what? 5. 2 to 5 is where we have c to d. This is 2 less than x less than what? 5. So remember, you can also say that f of s is equal to what? 3. The last guy is e to what? f. Now, e to f, e to f, what was the value for f of x or value for y? Value for y is what? Minus 1. So y is equal to minus 1 at where? Where is e to f located at? e to f is located at s equal to 5 to s equal to what? 7. So I can say that this is 5 less than x less than what? 7. So all this then become, I can say that f of s is equal to what? Minus what? 1. And if you will notice, all of these guys, is this 7? Okay, yes. So all of these, I can say that f of s plus 7, the last guy that I ended with, is equal to what? f of s. Simply because 7 is the period of that very function. Now with this, I hope you now understand how to describe a periodic function analytically thank you very much for watching this very video remember to share this video to your classmates bye